Hey guys, we're here today. Um, we thought we'd let you know kind of what we've got going on here. Everybody knows how much Donald loves his dogs. Well, we decided to, to do a little bit of a fecal sample on them, I guess, and do a nutritional analysis on them. Um, actually, we're just kidding you. What we're actually doing is we've got uh, four different soil samples here that we've taken out of four different fields. Where we're trying to get ready for a hay crop or for planting come spring. And what we've done is we've collected um, and with a, a soil probe, if you can go online and look them up and see the work for you guys, for you guys that are wanting to know how to do this, um, you can buy one of them and take your. It's the best way to take a soil sample. Um, it just looks like a little teeth shape type deal that you can plug into the ground and pull these little plugs like this, um, and then they just come out and you just pull them out of there and you can put them in into a Ziploc bag, whatever you need to, and then they they need to be dried out before you send them off. Um, a lot of times, you're, a lot of people think the only people who do it is like Whitetail Institute or something like that is where you can only place you can get your soil samples tested. Um, that's not the case. A lot of times, your local uh, ag stores, like uh, for us, it's MFA uh, does the soil samples. You can look up a lot of places like that, which is our local feed store is what it is that sells uh, seed, uh, feed, um, your chemicals, your, your fertilizer, all that stuff. A lot of times that, that's where you can take these soil samples and get your, get your test done on them. Um, they're going to be testing for three main things and then they're going to test for a lot of micronutrients too. But they're going to be testing for the nitrogen, the phosphorus, and the potassium. Um, we're looking and they're also going to test the soil pH. Um, that's going to be the one thing, one of the things for sure that we're trying to get, get control of. And some of these fields have never been planted before. We're going to have to start lining them right away probably to get the soil pH up to where we want it. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, well, what's a good soil pH? We're looking to get ours into that six, six and a half range for the clovers and um, for them to do very well. Um, that doesn't mean that we can't grow clover on a five, five and a half. Um, it just doesn't do as well. So, but we're trying to get everything lined out and get everything ready to go for spring. Um, and we'll let you know and kind of keep you in touch and, uh, and how they come back whenever we get them sent off and we'll get the results back, guys. This is one of the fields that we took a soil sample out of. Um, you can see Shane over there, he's on the tractor, he's got the disc out. Um, it's January, but the ground is not frozen. And so we're kind of taking advantage of it uh, right now because the ground dried out. We're supposed to get some snow Friday and it's supposed to start getting cold again. Um, but we're trying to get this broke up, get the sod broke up uh, to where the grass can go ahead and start dying and to where we can come back in here come March, um, probably the early part of March, and hopefully we can get some clover. Uh, we're going to try to plant a frosty persimmon clover into this field uh, to get an early spring harvest off of it. Um, along with a, uh, some uh, winter peas to produce a hay crop. Um, so we just want to kind of let you know and show you what we were doing. Um, as you can see, it's not breaking up the best just yet, but he's ran over this one time and he's not trying to go too deep because we've had some old, older farmers that have dissed this field before that have told us that it, um, there's quite a bit of rock in it if you disc it pretty deep. So. We're trying to do just a gentle breakup on it, and he's probably going to run over this one more time before it's said and done to get everything broke up a little bit better. Um, we're going to try not to do it too much because it will actually compact the ground, and that's not what we want to do. So we are going to uh, keep you informed and let you know how things are going and keep following us on Facebook, and uh, we'll uh, keep you up to date as things go on. And that's hopefully we'll get a bunch more of them bells like that. So, all right, guys, so you can see the second pass and what it has done. We're just uh, trying to keep you up to date and kind of show you how things have worked out and how they're doing better.